Hello, everybody. We are the Sketchers team from NPF. I'm Penny. I'm Xiaoxuan. I'm Umberto. And I'm Allison Webster. In the following video, you will learn about our Feet Expressions campaign that we developed for the Sketchers Performance Division and what led us to create it. Stay tuned. Our presentation is going to be divided into four parts. We will begin by introducing the brand challenge, followed by the part of strategy development. Then we will give a detailed introduction of our integrated communication plan. At the end, we will reiterate how our plan is going to address the brand challenge. To begin with, I'm going to briefly introduce the brand challenge of Skechers. According to our analysis, there are three main brand challenges for Skechers. Low brand awareness among the shoppers, lack of likability among the target audiences, and also lack of comparative advantages in the athletic footwear industry. In consideration of the current brand challenge of Skechers, its marketing communications need to change. In the next part, we are going to provide a detailed analysis of the strategy development of Skechers, including situation analysis, consumer research, evaluation of current communications, SWOT analysis, and our marketing strategy recommendations. Skechers was founded in California in 1992 and started expanding globally in 2001. Skechers shoes are now sold in more than 120 countries with over $2 billion in annual sales. The products of Skechers are mainly divided into performance division and lifestyle division. Skechers Performance is one of the major athletic footwear brands in the U.S. It is now ranking the third in terms of market share, just after Nike and Adidas. Since the performance division is more competitive than the lifestyle division, we will focus on Skechers Performance for our marketing communication strategies. Here is a brief of the brand audit of Skechers Performance. It positions itself as high-quality athletic shoe brand, and it targets style-conscious 18 to 24-year-old males and females. The tagline of Skechers performance is Go Like Never Before. We designed and executed qualitative and quantitative researches on consumers of Skechers and other athletic shoes brands in early October 2014. We conducted observations, interviews, surveys, and online sentiment analysis. Although there is limitation of small sample sizes, the researchers still provide some insights across different methods. First of all, people choose comfort as the most important factor when buying athletic shoes. The relevant good news is that Skechers Performance has average score in comfort as other main athletic footwear brand, according to our consumer research. Moreover, once people have tried Skechers Performance, they will have positive reviews about the shoes. However, brand awareness is still low for Skechers' performance, especially for their target group 18 to 24. Instead, middle-aged females are found more likely to be Skechers' performance lovers. One reason for this is that middle-aged females are usually decision-makers in terms of buying shoes for their husbands, children, and other family members. One last key finding shows that the most seen media for people is respectively billboard, TV, and the internet.
To evaluate Sketcher's current marketing communication, we took a look at several campaigns, bought by Sketcher, GoRun, Memory Foam, and ShapeUps. In regard to Bob's by Sketcher campaign, we found that the company is consistent with the target audience, mainly young women, throughout all the executions. A negative aspect about this campaign was the poor overall creativity, given the fact that Tom's, another shoe company, had launched a very similar campaign before Sketchers. In regard to the other campaigns, we found that the company was consistent in the message, target audience, and overall themes of the executions, though the messages lacked of important information that will increase brand awareness and will make people understand why a person should buy Skechers. In general, Skechers use the social media platform poorly because, despite being present in the majority of the most popular sites, the company wasn't using social media properly and creatively enough to gain competitive advantage. Skechers is the perfect example of a thriving American company. Like most businesses, it has been challenging the digital era appealing to a targeted audience. Posting the right pictures, attracting consumers to a viral video, using the right hashtags can all contribute to sales. Now, as seen in our slide, Skechers is currently present in 120 countries. Its unique shape contributes to comfort. This has been confirmed by many users and has been rated extremely high on online sentiment. For the purposes of this campaign, I will review weaknesses for the performance division. Consumer research shows that Skechers performance division has low brand awareness as far as comfort, durability, and style. There is also low likability few followers online, and a below average customer engagement. We also notice that marketing campaigns are not tailored to the different media platforms. Research shows that digital natives seek memorable ads or campaigns that bring forth an emotion. As the market for 18 to 24 is saturated, an opportunity can be the 24 to 34 year olds based on our research. Within the targeted group, another opportunity will be to emphasize on females since they hold a greater purchasing power. With the growing number of digital natives, an a third opportunity will be taking advantage of the hashtag era, which will provide a great deal of opportunity to engage our targeted audience and revamping the perception of Skechers brand and reintroducing the performance division. With every opportunity, there is a threat. Skechers has an undersized marketing budget of 118 million compared to its competitor, Nike, of 3 billion. Another threat would be supply and demand. It could hinder the price of the shoe, increasing the price and throwing off economies of scale. Economic environments may also play a part in the purchasing power of our targeted audience. Our recommendations are to increase the targeted audience age of 24 to 34 with the inclination of females. Unique marketing position, shape your feet expression with comfort. And communication objective, increase brand awareness and create positive association with the brand. We have presented to you our brand challenge and strategy development. Here comes the most exciting part. Dun, 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 dun. Please allow us to walk you through our integrated communication plan. Have you ever think of the expressions of your feet? Yep, you heard this right. To be more clear, by feet expressions, we mean expression like this, or expressions like these. Our big idea is called feed expressions. It's generally a before and after strategy. 
which simply means that your feet have angry faces, tired faces, crying faces before wearing Skechers Performance, and they will turn into happy faces after you wearing Skechers Performance when you work out. The rationale of this big idea is that it can educate the audience about the unique shape of Skechers Performance shoe directly through the tone of their feet. As their feet know more than themselves regarding the comfort of the shoe when they are working out, the animation will not be childish-like but hilarious, which will be appealing to our target group aged 24 to 34, and more attractive to females. According to research, no brands have used this idea before. Thus, the campaign has the potential to generate buzz and further increase brand awareness and positive associations with the brand. Around our big idea of feet expressions, our team develop a creative campaign that uses four media formats: the traditional medium, television, social media, online advertising banner, and billboard. To begin with, the TV commercial. The purpose of the new Skechers TV commercial will be to convince our target audience that Skechers performance shoes are comfortable and professional athletic shoes of high quality on the market. This will be accomplished by comparing people's sad feet expressions before wearing Skechers performance shoes with their happy feet expressions after wearing them. The mood and tone of the commercial will be joyful, upbeat, and reliable. Hey, dude! Don't touch me. Didn't you see my bandage there? Sorry, man. Didn't mean that. Hope you just stop running ten miles today. I'm so exhausted. So many shoes tried. When are we gonna find our soulmate? Shh. She may wake up. Hooray! We found one. For the online advertising banner and billboard, the points to be communicated are comfort, performance, and shape. As you can see, the billboard ad and the online banner brings forth the playful yet eye-catching advertisements. Curiosity is built due to the feet expressions, and the advertisements also include the hashtag. That is carried out in our marketing campaign. This is the Facebook page we created for this campaign. The Facebook page will function as a hybrid between a traditional website and a way to interact with the customers. It will include pictures of the performance shoes, of people using the shoes, and of people sharing their feet expressions. On Twitter. We are going to launch monthly or weekly challenges that invite participants to send tweets or to tweet pictures. Themes of the challenges could be the competition of the ugliest feat of the month, prettiest or funniest feat of the week, and so on. The use of hashtags could also help the company to start some trends to increase the brand awareness. The collective budget for the feed expression campaign will be roughly sixteen million dollars, which includes the cost of TV commercials, online banners, and social media sites. This is roughly fourteen percent of the total marketing budget of the company for two thousand and fourteen. The company will have to spend three point seven million to wear the commercial each time during the Super Bowl. The commercial will be shown twice during the Super Bowl. Commercial during prime time shows will cost one hundred twelve thousand dollars per airtime. For the billboard, the cost will be between fifteen hundred and thirty thousand dollars for a four week period, depending on the location and type of billboard. Our two billboards will cost one hundred twenty thousand dollars. The cost of online banners will fluctuate between 
$82.50 and $473.10 and for an amount of impression that will go between $50,000 and $190,000. Our total cost for online banners will be $21,000. For the social media executions, we estimated a total cost of $45,000. This chart shows the percentage of the total budget of the campaign that it will be spent on each execution. Our campaign will last from January to June 2015 because of the small marketing budget of the company. It is divided in three phases. We have decided that the first execution that will be launched will be the social media platforms and online banners. The Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages will be available on January 1st, 2015. The online banner will pop up once a day in each website. The second phase of the campaign includes the launch of the TV commercial. We decided to launch the, the commercial during the Super Bowl on February 1st because it promotes an athletic product and since one of our goal is to create brand awareness, people are actually paying attention to the commercial during the Super Bowl. After February 1st, the commercial will be shown during primetime programming of NBC and ABC. The commercial will be shown between 7 and 9 p.m. The commercial will be shown twice a day for two days a week, which brings the total amount of commercials shown to 80. The third phase of the campaign will integrate two billboards, which will be placed adjacent to major highways for the last two months of the campaign. Our campaign evaluation will be measured through sales, brand awareness, using focus groups, surveys, reviewing online traffic, and monitoring user-generated content along with buzz. Rate of investment will be calculated against the $1.7 million we intend to use for this campaign. Evaluation method. We are launching the campaign in the first six months of the year with its first airtime in the Super Bowl for 2015. July through September will be the months where we monitor user-generated content. October through December will be used to evaluate the data and start our analysis of the campaign, providing you with the results in December. The beginning of a year will start off strong, using airtime, social media, and online banners. The middle of the campaign will use social media platforms and outside billboard ads to carry out the campaign to June. We believe that our fit expression campaign will help sketchers overcome low brand awareness and increase liking of the brand among the target audiences. In order to differentiate sketchers from its competitors and help it sustain the competitive advantages, we redefine the target audience of sketchers performance footwear. We also believe that Having a strong online presence will further contribute to Skechers' advantage compared with its competitors. We hope you like our ideas and look forward to the change ahead. The Intiab Skechers team thanks you all for your listening.